Hey guys, it's Gary with Manview back with another Solar Light review. So we're going to take a look at um, something that's quite different. So you guys see a lot of Solar Lights on my channel, and for the most part, I try to do reviews that on lights that are much different than each other. You're not going to find lights that are are almost the same or exactly the same. I, I, there's no sense in doing that. So the lights that I have on there, um, for the most part, are mostly decorative. Uh, you guys like to use these lights during the summer, um, even during the holiday times. I use them for house lighting on the outside to accent the lights, um, security, motion detection, decorative, like I said. So we have all kinds of solar light reviews on here and you guys have been really great by adding your comments in there as well. So let's dive into this one. So I, this one was unique altogether just because of the color of the lighting. You can see here that it's a green light. So this is extremely much you know, much different than anything that we've normally see, right? So we normally see the, the bright white lights or we can tone them down or even the colored lights. So, um, you know, I had a conversation with the company because this isn't something that I normally would do living on Long Island uh, on the on the water. It's I, I don't have hogs. I don't have deers. I, I don't hunt. So it's not something I thought would um, appeal to me um, more or less, even not even to you guys, because I don't know if everybody's a big hunter or feeds hogs at night so but they assured me that this could be used for any environment but it's mostly put out or titled as a hog light um, for for night hunting so this is not to hunt hogs at night um, or deer at night but if you're in the farming type of environment and you're feeding hogs at night and deers at night and some other maybe um, animals that like to feed at night this green light allows you to be able to see everything on your property without disturbing the animals because the green light doesn't bother them compared to white light and if you're using it in a residential area such as i am i'm going to show you here in a minute it doesn't bother your neighbors either some some security lights can bleed over into your neighbor's property and that can cause a problem because they're bright and they're spotlights and they can contact you and say hey you know your security light keeps going off every time your dogs go out hence that's my issue um, and you need to face your light down or, or because you're not properly positioning it and it bleeds into their property. You can go into their windows and, and bother them as well. So this green light is much, much softer and it doesn't bleed over the fence line. I'm going to show you that in the video and you can still see a lot of, um, a lot of stuff within the property and it seems to really reflect off of the, off of things in the property. When I mean things, I mean like, um, maybe a small shed, bushes, a deck, um, you know, maybe a barbecue, like it really illuminates those. So you can really see everything around it. Um, not like a spotlight where it just floods the whole yard. So I found this extremely interesting, um, uh, you know, product to review and go through. So as of today, as of January 4th, 2023, during the time of this recording, the product is, uh, is $79 and we'll just go through some of these features real quick on here. So it shows you that it's, it's obviously it's a green light. And it doesn't bother the animals. That's a disregard that. That's a feeder that they put in the um, in the shot to show that if you are using this for farming, animals can can see around where they're eating. It's not something if you're in a residential area you're going to be using. Um, this here it does cover a large area. It's uh, really effective again when it bounces off of different things within your yard which i found to be actually nicer on the eye especially if you're looking out than it is just flooding the whole area <clears throat> excuse me so the the product here has um 96 pc s leds it's very very bright i'm going to show you that in the um in the video now when i say bright i mean if you're looking straight up into it it's bright, um, but when you're not looking at the light like that and you're looking at the ground, it covers a lot of ground without it being obnoxious like a bright white light would be. It does have a motion sensor on it. You can choose to have that motion sensor on or you can just leave it to be on instead of just you know motion detection picking it up. And I have to tell you, the motion detection is, is insanely, insanely accurate and um, uh, I, what's the word I'm looking for? It's accurate and it's sensitive. Um, I know that's kind of weird. Say a sensitive sensor is sensitive, but that's kind of really what it is. It's if I if I'm in the video and I'm going to show you this in a few seconds. If I'm in the video and I had to literally stand still, practically holding my breath, and I was at least 30 feet away, as soon as I move just an ounce to 
you know, just to get my foot to start moving towards the light, bang, it went on, like even brighter. So it has a low green light that's kind of on all the time um, and just sheds a little light. And as soon as it finds activation or seeks activation, um, somebody's moving and there's motion there, it, it goes on extremely bright. Okay, so I just want to slip back over here. So it is solar power. The back of the panel, it's a pretty big panel. Um, so the back of the panel has all these solar cells in it. So it not only um, charges fairly quickly, five to six hours, this thing's fully charged and you get 12 hours, if not more, not that it's more 12 hours of darkness, but you get an easy 12 hours out of it um, in regards to the, uh, the green light, whether you have it on all night or you're using the motion detection on it. Okay, so here obviously it's energy saving because it's charges, as I just said, five to six hours, and you get about 12 hours out of it. So this is what it comes with. So as I said before, the head of this is, is awfully large. It's 18 by 8 inches in length, a um, little over 8 inches in width. It, um, and it's very heavy, made, you know, made of metal. Uh, it's not plastic and broken. Well, the bottom part is plastic, but the arm here on the right, is uh, it's metal. It could even be steel because it's fairly heavy. Um, and the brackets that come with this, you can mount this flush to a fence, flush to a tree. You can mount it around a pole um, and they give you extremely long bolts and screws. So the mounting to it is um, very flexible to pair, compared to, want, to where you want to put it. Um, it comes with a remote, which I think is awesome. And I love to use the remote. So you have different options with it. You have, obviously you can turn it off and on with the red button. You can turn off and on activation, which is fantastic. Um, and you even have control over the brightness, whether you want the brightness to be all the way up or all the way down, just by hitting these two little star buttons up and down on the remote control. You can also have it uh, a duration of time setting. So if you want it on for two hours without motion, three hours or four hours without motion, uh, meaning that it's not gonna do a motion detection. It's just gonna stay on for three hours um, at whatever brightness you set it at, or you can put it on number eight, which is always on. Okay, so I like the fact that you have a remote and you're able to change so many options and flexibility with the type of lighting that you're gonna need or best fits your, your application, okay? So let's jump over, take a look at some of the still pictures I did, how I mounted and how I used it in the quick video on what it looks like. So this is what it looks like fully mounted on my deck. Uh, made sure I got a lot of sunlight from where it hits, slight angle up. And this is what it looks like at night when the light goes on. So you see how it really spreads out that green. Um, it really bounces off of things in the yard. The hardware that came with it. So basically what I had to do is I had to make sure I drilled the right size pilot holes in the beam so that the bolts would be nice and snug going through that. And it would be nice and, uh, and tight. This is what it looked like when I had finished it up. So again, I took the bracket, I put it right on the beam, just did some pilot holes, made sure I didn't do the screws too small or too large. And then I just mounted it in using the bolts that they gave you. So let's take a look at what it looks like in the night and actually working. So I'm standing here in the night, that's the green low light, it just stays lit. Now if I move just a inch or two and I'm about 20 feet away, bang, the light comes on. The The motion detection on this is extremely sensitive. Notice how the green light doesn't bleed over that fence. So it stays in your yard. It bounces off nice off the bushes, the grass, the deck below, just enough to be able to get you to see what's going on in your backyard. If you hear noise, whether it's an animal or somebody else in your backyard. So as I said before, it's, it's bright. If you're standing underneath it, like I said, I'm pointing the camera directly at the light from underneath. It's, it's bright. And you can see how it lights up the whole backyard. And it bounces nicely again, just off. And I like the fact it doesn't bleed over to my neighbor's yard. If I look outside, I can see everything. A fantastic light. So guys, thanks again. Remember, um, if you don't if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps um, the channel support. Uh, so click on that like button, comment on uh, the product. If you like what we're showing you here, if you have things that you want to see, please uh, let us know in the comments. If you have this product, let us know how you like it. If you have any questions about the product, go ahead and drop it in comments and I'll gladly try to get you the answer as soon as possible. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching, Manview. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button. Until next time, take care.